Hey guys, it's Paul from Montana and uh, I'm just about done fixing my 2004 GMC 2500 HD 6.0. It's got a 263 um, HD transfer case on it and this transfer case had classic pump rub. Um, there it is right there. camera's not that good but the uh, the pump actually rubbed a hole through the side of the case. This is very common GM problem. There's literally like a hundred videos on this on YouTube, so um, I've watched them all. They helped me get through this. But um, is what I thought I'd do is do a quick one on kind of what are some little things that I learned that could really pretty much you know kind of screw you over if, if you're doing this and it, and you don't do it the right way. What are the little gotchas, you know, to make this easier? Um, well, let's start from the beginning. Um, first off, getting the transfer case out of the truck is not really a big deal. Take the drive lines off, um, put a jack underneath your transmission pan with a with a 2x6 or 2x8 or something on there to so it doesn't get damaged. Um, take the lightly take the pressure off your transmission um, down to the cross member remove the cross member um, all that's just basic mechanic stuff um, and to get the transfer case out I removed the six nuts that hold the transfer case to the uh, extension housing um, I, I've never done it where you take the extension housing off you know instead of this 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 is easy to me so I just did it this way um, the bolts the, this little piece of advice I think is going to help you do this quicker. The bolts are kind of hard to get out, like the bottom four, eh, no big deal, whatever. You know, you could just get by with a 15 millimeter box wrench. Um, the upper two, like that exist at probably like 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock, you're going to want to get a speed wrench, 15 millimeter speed wrench, gear wrench, whatever you call these. Just go get one. Don't waste your time on this job. Go get one before you do the job. Have it on hand. It makes it so easy. Those bolts come out like nothing. And there's one way up on top, um, the very top bolt, that's pretty stinking hard to get out. So I used a 3 8 ratchet, 3 8 universal 15 millimeter socket. Boom, got it off there. No problem. Out comes the transfer case. That whole that whole process is pretty simple probably take you a couple hours so uh, getting the transfer case half apart of course take all these bolts out and you have to release a clip that little C clip right there you can see it little retaining clip that goes around the bearing so what I did was um, I used a pair of snap ring pliers or not snap ring pliers but I don't know what you call these C clip pliers spread it out as far as I could and uh, that sucker popped right out of there um, I also one day I made this little tool spreader tool this thing worked pretty good too I can do it either way but do know that you know my tip is spread it out as, as far as it'll go I mean you don't want to just go halfway and go why is it not coming loose you're gonna have to spread that clip out as far as it'll go which might mean you need to take these bad boys and put them in a vise and bend the tips out or do something to make it a little bit more wide of a spread and then that bearing will pop down um, and then you of course um, clean it up really good and, and put your case on there be careful when you buy a transfer case half there is a lot of options out there my advice is to you know get a hold of somebody who actually knows what they're doing somebody who sells these things this I got this from Superior Auto I think eBay. Those guys are awesome. Seriously, go with those guys if you wanna if you want a good part and you want some help. They did a great job with me with this part because you know you don't want to go strapping the wrong one on there, get the wrong part, and not even know it and put it on there. That that's happens too when you go buying stuff online. Um, but you save money. I'd rather save money and you know go through a little hassle trying to figure stuff out. Um, so anyhow, you're before I, I guess I skipped a part. Before you put this housing on, there's a tail shaft bushing in here. Take this housing over to your drive line and make sure your drive line fits in that bushing. There is always a chance that it won't. Maybe this is machine wrong. 
uh, maybe you've got the wrong part. Make sure it goes in there. It should be a pretty loose slip fit, not a tight slip fit, a loose one because this tail shaft bushing is designed to control that, that slip yoke, but not so much that it creates friction. If this is too tight and you have friction on your tail shaft, I mean on your slip yoke, it will get hot and I'm talking I've done it before that's why I know this whole section here will get so stinking hot that you're probably going to ruin your transfer case fortunately I I had just put a, one back together and I found that out by doing a test drive no harm no foul no damage done but long story short make sure that your uh, slip yoke fits in this a nice really really easy slip fit might even have a little bit of you know movement to it a little bit of slop uh, secondly, when you put the shell back on, make sure you get the little dowel pins or whatever they're called. It's a little dowel, um, uh, like skirt that goes in two holes on here and keeps it straight. If this is not straight, it it will ruin this, and it'll it's it's not a good thing. You have to put those back on there. Don't forget about that. Take them off your old case half, put them on your new case half, put it together torque it down. I don't know what the torque specs are. I just <laughs> I couldn't find them so I picked something that I thought <laughs> seemed really good and I just did it. I think it's going to be fine. Um, gasket material. I don't think you can get gaskets for these so I use anaerobic gasket maker and you do not want to put too much on there. The worst thing you can do is just goop that crap on there so it's a big giant bead and, and put the case together. Here's why anything that squeezes out into the inside of your transfer case ends up in the in the transfer case fluid pump the oil pump pickup screen there's a fine little screen in there you get that full of stuff and you're gonna you're gonna ruin your transfer case it's gonna overheat or something bad's gonna happen so you do not use too much of this stuff it doesn't take much put a little bit on you know just kinda dabble it on there put your gloves on and just go around and work it out till it's just this this nice just kind of light red layer all the way around this thing now if you really want to be anal about it which I was with this one I put the transfer case together I went around and um, tightened up probably half the bolts and uh, so it was good and tight and then I flipped it over and I put uh, put the bearing no I never did the bearing clip so I went around and I torqued all these bolts pretty pretty dang tight. I didn't put them use my torque wrench, but I just got them nice and tight with my lightweight impact. And then I took all the bolts out and took the case half off. And I looked at my sealer and I wiped it out. Anything that got inside the case, I wiped it out. And there wasn't much because I was really easy using that skim method, you know. And I got it all out of the inside of the case and then I put it back together. That way I'm confident there's not going to be much of that stuff inside of there. It's it's a bad mistake that I think I've made I've done it and I think other people would too especially if you're not a, like a pro mechanic I'm not a professional mechanic so that's why I'm giving you all these little um, tips because I screw stuff up and I find out the hard way so um, so anyhow um, you're to the point of uh, getting this the bearing clip that we talked about earlier to seat on here so what I did was some guy on eBay or uh, eBay YouTube had this advice put a roll of duct tape or tape or whatever fits on here like perfectly it just sticks on there and you you put the transfer case on, on this surface here and then you reach in there with your with your pliers and you spread that ring out and kind of shake it around and all of a sudden the whole thing falls down you really need gravity both to remove the bearing from that clip and to bring the bearing back into the clip and take a flashlight make sure that bearing is seated well don't you don't want that flopping around in there that that'll ruin everything too so have to make sure that clip is seated in there get a flashlight out and make sure it's seated all the way and it spins around you know a few degrees each way so at this point you've got it back together easy money um, and grab your tran grab your uh, slip yoke and your drive line and bring it over here and make sure it slides in nice and easy. One last check. If you don't want to put this thing back in your truck and then the drive line doesn't fit. It happened to me. That's why I'm telling you. Don't 
you know you don't want to do that at this point do it on the bench make sure it slips in nice and easy and then you know you're okay to put the transfer piece back in the vehicle um, as for the the guts that are in this thing this one's a reinforced one so the thickness in the casting to where it touches the pump is really thick so I mean I don't you have to go a long ways with this thing before you have anything rubbing through there um, I've seen a lot of different methods where people buy a little insert that goes in there a new pump this that and the other thing um, I mean whatever method you prefer um, in, in my case I've got hundred and fifty thousand miles on this truck and it just finally broke the original so I'm happy with knowing this is thick and it's probably going to outlive everything on this truck you know and uh, so that's what I did so as far as getting it back in uh, that's pretty simple um, two jacks I got a little tiny jack over there that I use I'm going to put that in underneath the transmission and, and swap out with my big one and my big one in there I, I should have did it the other way around when I started but I just kind of spaced it out so I'll put the small one underneath the engine and then I'll take that big jack over here put the transfer case on it spin it in jack it up into place pop it on put everything back together that's probably the easy part and then fire it up and off you go um, gosh I hope I hope this helps you not make mistakes that I've made <laughs> and uh, good luck to you